Um, good evening, everyone, and welcome to Goodwin Proctor. It really is a privilege um, to partner with Columbia Entrepreneurship for tonight's program on corporate innovation and entrepreneurship. I know you're going to learn a ton from our speakers who are all talented experts in this field, and I hope that you've met some interesting people, and if not, you get one more chance after the show to, uh, to join us for some networking after the program. So corporate innovation is an incredibly hot topic these days. It's all over the media. What I love about tonight's conversation is that it's going to focus on a critical issue. How does corporate innovation innovate? Where do we go from here? Just to level set, my partners and I are outside counsel to more than 1,500 emerging and other technology company clients. Innovation and growth at a rapid pace is a necessity for these companies and a critical focus point for the investors who back them and the boards of directors who guide them. We frequently participate in conversations in board meetings and with management in the evaluation of new ideas and models, allocating capital to these new initiatives, and bearing responsibility for the successes and failures of these initiatives. As a tech company insider, I'm really excited to listen to tonight's conversation and compare notes with my own experiences with uh, corporate innovation. Successful companies are successful because they continuously exploit temporary competitive advantages, not sustainable ones. That's a quote from Rita McGrath, a professor at Columbia Business School and a globally recognized expert on strategy, innovation, and growth with a focus on corporate entrepreneurship. She helps CEOs and other senior executives navigate these issues and thrive in a volatile environment. She's won more awards and mentions than I have time to run through right now, but one that stuck with me. Yeah, yeah, mention them, I think. <laughs> Top 10 most influential business thinker in 2013 and 2015, according to Thinkers 50. For those of you who know Professor McGrath's work, you already know she's a rock star in her field. And by rock star, I mean a sold out summer football stadium tour type rock star. I became an instant fan of hers by watching her work and her critical thinking, passion, and style that she brings to this topic. Okay. So please join me in welcoming Professor McGrath. Thank you. 